Hi, in this video we are going to talk about vitamin D. The chemical name of vitamin D is 1,25-dihydroxycholecalciferol. Otherwise it is known as vitamin D3 which is the active form of vitamin D. Notice that it has hydroxy groups, right? It is D3 and that's why it has 3 hydroxy group. And its structure is overall pretty much similar to a cholesterol backbone, right? And it also work like a steroid hormone. Now, most prominent role of vitamin D is to maintain the serial, serum cal calcium and phosphate levels. So, in this video, we are going to talk about all of those things, its source, how it works, what are the deficiency syndromes and all of these things. Now, vitamin D at a molecular level works via the intracellular receptors. The receptor for vitamin D is bound by HSP90 in the cytoplasm when the vitamin D is absent. But in presence of vitamin D, the HSP90 block is removed and as a result, vitamin D receptor in a ligand bound format can move into the nucleus. And once it is in the nucleus, it can start transcriptional event. Now vitamin D receptor along with the vitamin D bound to it forms a receptor homodimer and that binds to the vitamin D3 response elements and that leads to many le level of genetic changes and this mechanism is pretty much similar to steroid hormones like estrogen, progesterone, etc. Now let's talk about its metabolism. So we know that cholesterol biosynthesis takes place in a sequential fashion and one step an intermediate is known as 7-dehydrocholesterol is eventually converted to cholesterol. This 7-dehydrocholesterol can also be converted with the help of sunlight to an active form of vitamin D3. But this process is more elaborate which we would come in a moment. So it turns out sunlight has important effect to produce the vitamin D or vitamin D can be synthesized de novo with the help of sunlight. How is that? It turns out vitamin D3 synthesis takes place in the skin, at least the beginning part takes place in the skin. So there are many formats of vitamin D which can be obtained in food items. For, for example, in case of vegetables, vitamin D2 or argocalciferol is obtained. And vitamin D3 is obtained from many animal sources such as fish, uh, dairy products, etc. Now, let's talk about the vitamin D enriched food, which are like dairy products, cheese, whole grain cereals, butter, egg whites, milk, and fish. All of these things are very much enriched in vitamin D. Now, let's look at how vitamin D is chemically synthesized in our body. We already talked about 7 dehydro cholesterol which is the intermediate of this cholesterol biosynthesis pathway which can be channeled with the help of sunlight into another intermediate known as cholecalciferol. Now cholecalciferol is a primitive version of the vitamin D you can understand it like that. Now cholecalciferol would immediately channel to the liver where cholecalciferol would be transformed into calcidiol and this calcidiol has actually Two hydroxy group as the name suggests diol and it is otherwise known as 25 hydroxy vitamin d3 because and the enzyme that performs this hydroxylation reaction is 25 hydroxylase then calcidiol or 25 hydroxy vitamin d3 moves to kidneys and in the kidneys calcidiol gets converted into calcitriol or one 25-dihydroxy vitamin D3. This is the name of, I mean, the active format of vitamin D3 or calcitriol. So this is how vitamin D3 is synthesized in our body. Now let's look at what is the major role of vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 allows calcium reabsorption or increase the rate of calcium reabsorption from the intestinal epithelia. That means blood level of calcium gets increased after vitamin D3 is action. Not only that, vitamin D3 ensures that enough amount of calcium is reabsorbed from the distal convoluted tubule of the nephrons. That means 
in the kidneys it also play a major role for reabsorbing calcium and increase the blood calcium levels once the blood calcium level is increased it can be ready readily available for depositing onto the bone so bone mineral mineralization is an important function of vitamin d as a result when there is a deficiency of vitamin d3 there is problems associated with the bones known as rickets which is present in, in case of the babies and osteomalacia in case of adults where the bone density is altered mineralization properties altered bone become more porous and tender so this kind of disease is known as osteomalacia not only that it also increase the risk of osteoporosis where the bone density is very much reduced and bone becomes sponge like and fragile and it increase the chance of um fracture now along with vitamin d3 parathormone which is secreted from the parathyroid gland plays vital role to maintain calcium phosphate homeostasis so parathormone calcitonin and vitamin d3 together work like a chain and ensures calcium and phosphate homeostasis is maintained in the body definitely it helps in bone growth and nerve function because for neurons calcium is also very much important so let's look at how calcium how vitamin d3 is absorbed after eating a meal or eating food which is enriched in calcium uh, calcium and vitamin d3 vitamin d3 would be absorbed in the intestine in the intestine and epithelium there as vitamin d3 is a fat soluble vitamin so it would be absorbed along with the fatty micelles so all the fatty acid micelles have the vitamin d3 with it and it would be absorbed in the intestine then it comes to the bl blood and then it could be used for other purposes now causes of vitamin deficiency includes improper absorption in the intestine or in case of kidney disease calcidiol could not be converted to calcitriol that's a problem and that's why active form of vitamin d3 is not available in the blood in case of liver disease cholecalciferol cannot be converted into calcidiol that's another problem and all these things result in vitamin d deficiency and improper calcium homeostasis which might eventually increase the risk of bone disease and uh, risk of fracture so i hope this video was helpful and last we wanted to tell you that the key way by which you can detect the vitamin d deficiency is by measuring vitamin d levels in the blood and i hope this video was helpful if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you